discussion, but uh, you know, certainly we're excited. He's a good goaltender. He's got a lot of uh, experience. He's proven at this level, and I mean, I, I think we all uh, feel he's uh, got a pretty high uh, ceiling. So we'll, we'll get him here, and no decisions have been made. Um, but uh, excited to. You know, see how it plays out. Competition is good, so we welcome that. Can you give a chance quick. on Lincoln and goes to Indy and you're managing three goalies? Or? Uh, not right now. That's not the plan. Uh, nothing's ever off the table, but uh, like I said, just get him here and we'll get going. And um, Competition is, is never a bad thing at any position, but uh, we, it's not something we talked about. Who will be involved in that decision and give us a quick little take on how that will go down and how quickly you want to know? Um, I don't think there's any, we're not talking timeline, that's for sure. Um, but I, you know, just like any decision we make, it's like we all put our uh, opinion on the line and, and uh, we have to balance, obviously, we got the development of, of young goalies here who we think have a pretty, pretty good future and um, you know, opportunity to uh, again, Anton, he's he's got a pretty good track record, so um, he'll help us have some success too. But uh, you know, we'll everyone has their two cents, and we'll come up with the best decision for the group and the organization, obviously. Also, is it a double-edged sword? It's got to make your job a little tougher, if nothing else. It's. <laughs> I think go, you know the goaltending thing is uh, there's always a little bit more of a microscope on it, but you know, we got competition on defense right now. We got. Uh, different times you've, you've had competition, you know, whether it's you know, top six forwards or power play uh, opportunity. That's that's just part of having a good team. You have a lot of guys who can do a job for you, and uh, you let merit sort itself out. So um, that's I, I view it as a good thing. At three goalies sometimes I guess can uh, I guess how mindful are you just the chemistry within the room and it's sometimes the situation that could be difficult for three guys. Yeah, I mean, again, it's. The goalie thing, it, it always, uh, people are watching and it becomes a talking point, but I think we got a good group here, we got a good dressing room, we got good leadership, uh, everyone wants to have team success and obviously team success brings individual success, so that'll sort out, I don't, everything I've heard, uh, we got, you know, Anton's a good teammate, and we got good guys here, so I think it'll be seamless. It's good stuff, fit in right away with the style and the personality and all that. And what was his mindset coming down? Yeah, well, he's obviously, you know, having to have the surgery was an ideal for him, but uh, I think he had a pretty good playoff with us, and hopefully he can pick right up where he left off. And if he does that, I wouldn't think he'd uh, be too long before he can show, you know, shows he can contribute with the Hawks. So um, for him, just getting out there and we'll try and get him in as soon as we can. And, Thought he looked great today. So he's ready right away. It seems like it. Um, you know, haven't, well. haven't talked to him uh, after the practice here, but uh, he looked great. So um, you know, we haven't set the lineup or anything, but uh, if he's available, I would think uh, he'll go in. What, what strides did he make last year when all down here? I just think uh, decision making with the puck, and you know, we know he can make things happen and lose the puck really well. It's just. Uh, Understanding when is the right time to try and do something special, and when you just got to get rid of it. And uh, I think you know that playoff was that experience for him was uh, you know it's as close as you can get to NHL games, and he had a big role for us, and uh, was really really dependable. We counted on him for huge minutes, and uh, hopefully he can get right back to that. What capacity did you have Brian Campbell helping out on defense, or is this just kind of a Maybe a one-time thing, or yeah, I don't know. But um, he's, his track record speaks for itself. Uh, it was fun to have him out here, see how we're working, and of course, uh, you know, he's he's going to notice some things and put his, uh, you know, help guys out where he can. So that was lovely. So you know, hopefully he comes back. Uh, we got a lot of great, great resources in this organization. So uh, fun to use them. How do you manage nine defensemen under an NHL contract? Um, you let. We let things sort out, let it play out. Um, say, you know, goalie situation, three goalies, we'll let it play out. Guys who uh, deserve to play will play, and, and the ones who are, um, the ones who get through, the ones who get through the competition, then we really have something. So I, I view it as a good thing, and it'll push, they'll push each other to be better and uh, raise, you know, the minimum level of the group, but also, you know, I think in those situations, 
they uh, they're forced to, to find a, di a different uh, consistency because that's what you have to do to stay in. So uh, I, I think it's great. In the past, you guys have utilized in for, for something like that. Is that a consideration down the road, or it could be? Yeah, I mean, it's uh, no decisions have been made, uh, but we we want to get guys playing for sure. But uh, Right. As of now, we're, we're pretty healthy. We'll see how, how loose is here, but uh, that's not off the table. Coach, how impressed have you been with your teams playing the third period? You guys have really been able to dominate you know, the last period of games so far this season. Yeah, we showed some character to come back. Uh, I think special teams has really come through for us. We got some power plays and when we had a chance to sort of get ourselves back in the game and we took advantage of it. Um, I don't think 5-on-5 five five were near where we want to be, but... Uh, what we did do is we kept playing and we, we were down and found a way to come back and so I view that as a positive and, uh, and hopefully we don't lose that uh, just because we start playing a little better better five on five. What more do you want to see out of AIDS though? Um, I think just a little, a little harder on the puck, doing some more 50-50 battles. Uh, we believe in him, we, we think he can, uh, we thought he was going to to compete in camp and, and uh, now he's here and sometimes that's an adjustment but uh, he can make plays and he can finish and and, uh, and we've shown he can do it at a high level we just think uh, a little higher com competitiveness uh, both away from the puck just you know getting your feet moving and then around the puck come up with some more of those 50 50s and then all of a sudden he'll be in the offensive zone and he'll have a chance for that skill to come through so um, it's part of a young player just going through Sometimes you got to go through a tough time and you come out of the other end of it uh, stronger and, and wiser and, and more confident. So um, he'll get right back in there and, 